there was a comment that I saw on the shade bar and it got me thinking and I was like, wow, interesting. Um, how, how we have friends, right? All of us are friends, we have acquaintances, people, some people are closer, some people who are less close. And so when I saw that comment, I was like, wow, this is a quite interesting um, topic. Um, so I'll share with you the post that I saw. It's insane. I just saw my friend get engaged and I'm so vexed. I'm happy for them, but I'm upset on my days. Ooh, okay. I was like, wow. This is, this is, to be honest, it's good that, I guess it's good that she's honest, that that's how she felt. But how many of us are around people who we thought were for us and were not? This person just saw her friends get engaged. In one hand, on one hand, she said she's happy for them. At the same time, she said she's vexed. And to me, it, it just shows again that, you know, some people are happy with being friends with you so long as you don't surpass them in, in a certain area in life. They're happy for you to be the underdog around them, but you should not elevate. And um, that got me to thinking about, you know, what the scripture says about um, us being as wise as serpents, but being... Um, blameless or innocent as a dove you know we really have to keep discerning because that's that's crazy like have you experienced a time where someone you thought was your friend um show a different side of themselves that you, you thought wasn't there that a certain situation brought out of them and it just reiterates about the spirit of envy how do you deal with the spirit of envy because at the same time even though she said that and that's foul. I respect the fact that she's been honest. Okay, I'm guessing her friend must have seen it too. Because for you to tweet something like that, you know, you know good and well that your friend can see that tweet. He's saying, um, I'm angry, I'm vexed that you're engaged. Something great is happening to you. I'm upset. And I'm guessing that this person is not engaged. I'm guessing that this person does... Is, always thought they were going to be ahead of that person. And so how do you deal with the spirit of envy? The one thing we need to remember is that envy is a spirit. Envy is a spirit. And it is a spirit that is not always easily detected. You know, you can, you can walk around your life and think you have no envy in your heart. And then someone you really disliked, maybe someone who has done you so wrong, but then that person is having great things happening to them. And you think, well, God, this person should clearly be punished. This, clearly should, this person should clearly be receiving the worst treatment in life. But why are they um, doing well? Those are little inclinations of envy. Those are signs of envy. And so... We have to keep being um, vigilant and keep praying against that spirit because that spirit comes with many other spirits because normally spirits don't come in silos, okay? We know from the Bible where a demon was cast out and he went into the dry places and the person that was delivered from that demon did not, um, did not, remain vigilant right they allow that demon to come back but when now when that demon came back he came back with many more demons even stronger than him because now he's like i'm not gonna get cast out again i'm gonna come with many more more demons so normally the spirit of envy doesn't just come on its own it comes with the spirit of anger it comes with the spirit of murder and they all come they reveal themselves um in different stages Okay, so for instance, at the beginning, the, the friend may be vexed that the person is engaged. Now, the spirit of anger comes in. You start being angry for no reason. The anger might start off with sending in a horrible text, further with um, 
maybe becoming physically violent. And in, in that rage, the spirit of murder can come in where you actually kill someone or where you kill a relationship. Now your mission is to destroy that relationship. I'm going to make sure you don't get married. Well, you're engaged, you're not going to get married before me. And that's where we see the levels of the spirits that come in. And so we need to keep being vigilant. When we see little signs like this, we don't have to be ignorant of them or just think, well, this is one of these things. You have to tackle it heads on. And if I knew this person, like I would love to counsel this person because this is a real human thing. And it's not just her that's going through that. Like she's the one that actually verbalized it, but many people think it. Many people think it even in other ways, and especially in the world of social media, right? Where you know we see just <laughs> people just flaunting, presenting fake lives throughout. Um, you know, it is, it is, it is, it is, it is quite um, something that's happening every day. It happens with families. It happens with friends. It happens with colleagues. It happens all the time. So, um, yeah, people should just really, really be vigilant.